Howdy everyone, it's Ephraim here from Passpoint One Comics. Uh, before I go any further, please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and also hit that uh, notification and like button. These are comics that I get from a specific comic store. Uh, they're called GMart Comics. Um, they come in basically about once a month. Uh, it's an online service. Um, they're based in Chicago, so whenever I get comic books directly from them, I like showing just their comics because I've been subscribing to their store, oh my gosh, probably over 10 years now. So um, here we go. And these are not all of them that I get every month. These are just ones that, you know, I wanted to show you. If I showed you all of them, it would just obviously probably take too long. So the first one is Aquaman number um, 63 uh, by Tyler Kirkman. Hopefully you can see it there. Pull it back a little bit. I'll have a side view here. Um, I do my uh, post-production. Uh, next one. This one is um, an Alex Ross cover. I believe it's a Fantastic Four cover. I don't recall. Um, but I will... Um, these are... Alex Ross has done various comics of these, of different characters. I think they're called Timeless. Um... Once I get them all, and I just wanted to show you this one for an example. Once I get them all, I'm going to do a special uh, video just for them. This next one is from Batman 3 Jokers. The artist is Jason Fabook, or Fabook. Um, this one is of uh, Batgirl. Same artist, but this one has a Joker on the cover. This next one is Flash 762, another cover by In Hugh Lee. Uh, in my opinion, he's been really smashing it with these Flash covers. <laughs> They're just really very intense. Um, number 762. Another artist I'm sure I've mentioned him before is uh, Scotty Young. Whenever his books come out, I try to keep my eye on him and, you know, I, I get him. Uh, he's like his child, like, his, um, he does characters like, uh, this one is a Juggernaut, but he does like a kid version of the Juggernaut. Uh, this next one is Maestro. It was... Drawn by uh, George Perez Maestro, number two. It's like a future version of the Hulk. I'll fit here. Let me put this one here. So these next two are Spawn covers. Uh, Spawn 310 by McFarlane. One's a regular cover and one's a black and white cover. Uh, like I said, I just found GMart Comics online one time. You know, I Googled comic book stores, discounted books, and they give you like 35% off, which is, to me is a good deal. Uh, but the only thing is you have to have $85 worth of comics that they have on hand that you have set aside, and then they ship them to you for uh, free shipping. And here's the uh, black and white version of it. And the last book from... Um, G Mark Comics is Giant Size X Men number one. It's a tribute to uh, the creators of Giant Size X Men, uh, Len Wine and Dave Cockrum, I believe. Uh, this is drawn by Adi Granov. Um, it's when they did a basic reboot, and I have uh, X Men here, the original X Men here on my shirt. But these are the new X Men, basically, that had to save the original X Men. Uh, Professor, Professor X found them and told them, hey, you know, can you please help me? And then they formed the new uh, X-Men. And this book first came out, I think, in 1974, 75. I remember grabbing the very first book when it came out, the giant size X-Men. It was 50 cents, and uh, I just grabbed one. <laughs> I was a kid, basically, and I, I, I go back and go, gosh, why did I just grab one? I should have just grabbed a whole stack of them. They were just 50 cents each. But, you know, back then, I was like, well, I'll give it a try. I, and you knew the X-Men were going to blow up like they did throughout the years. Like I said, this is an Addy Granoff cover. 
uh, there's like about four or five more covers of these X-Men um, ones that just came out recently, you know, like uh, in, in honor of the original comic that came out by these artists. Well, that's all I have for you this day. Uh, this is Ephraim from Passpoint One Comics. Uh, please be safe and take care of yourselves.